What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the sun, well, you've come to the right place. Yeah, you know things are getting bad when I'm coming out of my semi-retirement to talk about something. You know, it's almost Christmas, and you know what that means? Getting together with friends and family, exchanging gifts, and most important of all, food. I love the holidays, man, because at the family gatherings I get at, we usually got leftovers. And, well, no one likes having to haul all the holiday posh home to take up space in their fridge. But see, that's where I come in. I bag up all the slop that no one else wants, and it feeds me for a good month. As the wise man once said, he who does not spend money on food gets to spend money on crap that he don't need. And to that I say amen and hallelujah, brother. But, my friends, I've seen a video, and, uh... I think I've lost my appetite. If this is what I got for Christmas, I'd assume I was the naughtiest cat all year. Hell, I'd be begging for coal. It would probably be a lot healthier for my body. Roll the video. Okay, so you guys can already tell what the hell is going on here. She who shall not be named is dumping mac and cheese into the sink. Now, first of all, that is no way to treat one of the highest standards of cuisine. Macaroni and cheese is essentially a bowl of pure AU, baby, and you're dumping it into the sink. Disgraceful, I tell you. Mudrilla, think about what goes into that sink. Dirty dishes, all that food and sauce and sludge getting down and dirty up in there. I don't care how well you clean that sink, I am not eating a scrap of food that touches it. No siree. And then when they pour the milk in, it's 2% low fat. Talk about adding insult to injury. Then they take the stick of butter and they just stick the whole damn thing in the middle. How does this person make popcorn? Like they make a bowl of popcorn, they melt some butter, and they pour all of it directly into the middle. Good God. And look at that abysmal butter coverage you got going on there. There is a good quarter of that. There is a good quarter of that sink that is not being covered. And look at how thick those butter slices are. Those ain't gonna melt worth a damn. Oh look, I don't know if this is a hot take, but Campbell's cheddar soup is awful. I mean, I'm sorry, I had it once, never again. Like look, if the apocalypse hits and there ain't nothing else to put on my nachos, fine, I'll do what I gotta do. But you ain't ever gonna see me with a can of cheddar. No way, no how. Oh god, please don't do what I think you're gonna do. For god's sake, do you really have to water the damn thing down? Like what, you don't want to throw the Campbell's Jetta soup into the garbage? You know, it's probably better in there. Just throw it out, please. God, woman, you know, you've got all these options for cheese, and you're using the worst ones on the shelves. I mean, look, I don't expect you to make the damn thing from scratch, you know, milk the cows yourself, but you got options, lady. Why are you, why are you putting the shredded cheese on before you stir it? That stuff goes on top, and it stays on top. This is like one of them horror movies, man. Feel like I'm a character screaming at someone else not to do something, but they can't hear me, so they just cement themselves to their doom. Please, dump as much salt in there as possible. You know, it's called mac and cheese. You know what cheese has got? Salt, and a lot of it. If the sheer disgustingness of this dish ain't enough to make you vomit, your sodium intake most certainly will. And she's putting in more salt. You're gonna have to make reservations to the hospital before eating this. Good God. And they say white people don't know how to use spices. I'd say they're right. That just sounds disgusting. Like, we've all made macaroni and cheese, and we all know what it sounds like when you stir it up. Music to your ears, right? But this is just, it's just sloshing around. Reminds me when I had to bring a friend home from the bar, and I ended up having to give him a bucket to toss his cookies into, if you know what I'm saying. You ever hear barf splashing into a plastic container? It's basically the same thing as... 
You know what I just realized? She literally had a pot at the beginning of the video. What benefit does pouring it into the sink even provide? I mean, hell, now you gotta scoop it out of the sink and into some serving tray or something. You're gonna have to clean out the sink. It's just more work for really no added benefit whatsoever. Just stir it in the pot and pour it into a tray, for God's sake. What are the chances that... Oh god, what are the chances that the mac and cheese is supposed to be served directly from the sink? Oh no, have mercy. Well, that's the video. Thank god. Merry holidays, happy Christmas, and if nothing else, I hope you'll be eating better than the folks who'll have to eat mac and cheese straight from the sink. So, once again, I find myself away from YouTube for a while, and I've missed quite a bit. Established titles, Elon apparently bought Twitter, but I'm back in the game for a few months, I bet, and then I'm probably gonna take another vacation, cause that's just what I do. I don't know what I want to do with the channel. Normal internet drama, I've never had much fun with it. I might not do it as much. I'll probably just make videos on what I find interesting, and if it has to do with YouTuber drama, so be it. I'm just tired of digging through these tweets and archives and whatnot. I just want to have fun with it all, you know? So, yeah, normal videos are hopefully back on the menu, and I'll see you around. In the meantime, you guys, keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.